What should we do with our highly radioactive waste in Germany? I think we should get rid of it ourselves and not leave it for our children and grandchildren to deal with. Scientists in the Institute of Resource Ecology at the Helmholtz Centrum dresden rossendorf Their task, repository research with a special focus on so-called actinides. Actinides are highly toxic, radioactive heavy metals that must be prevented from spreading. A frequently discussed scenario, ingress of water into a nuclear waste repository. A drill core of rock from a potential repository. How long can these rocks hold back water? Geopat. This high-tech scanner is used to examine drill cores from various formations for fissures and fractures. In addition to granite and clay, the researchers also test saltstone. Safety for a million years is at stake. That means the waste repository has to survive the next ice ages as well. How can we possibly envisage such a long period of time? It has to be assumed that the technical barriers in the repository will disintegrate over the millennia. At the same time, new minerals will develop. How do the actinides that are released interact with these minerals and the surrounding formation? To answer this question, we turn to spectroscopy. Here, laser light is directed at a sample containing an actinide compound. The laser spectrum tells us a lot about the binding characteristics of the molecules. More details can be revealed by X-ray radiation. This takes place in Grenoble, at ESRF, a huge synchrotron covering almost a kilometer. At this large-scale European research facility, HZDR operates the Rossendorf beamline, where radioactive samples can be measured by brilliant X-ray radiation. We are searching for materials that are able to trap actinides. Consequently, they are also investigating calcite at the Rossendorf beamline. This mineral is found in claystone and very effective at trapping actinides. Perhaps calcite is one of the minerals that could help make future repositories safer. Another option for preventing the migration of actinides may be microorganisms. HZDR biologists have discovered biofilms in a uranium ore mine that can incorporate and retain actinides. How sustainable is this mechanism? In order to investigate this, a biology lab was integrated into the radiation control area. Biologists, chemists and geologists all under the same roof. Ideal conditions for teamwork. Scientists at HZDR have state-of-the-art technology and expertise available to handle high-level radioactive substances. The latest findings in repository research are published in journals and databases. We provide experts and politicians with sound decision-making support on the pros and cons of future repository sites. Repository research at the Helmholtz Centrum in Dresden. Sophisticated and necessary.